I had a piece which was essentially taking the orchestral part of a Tchaikovsky piano concerto and bringing in an improvising piano player who ignores the score completely and plays whatever they want during the piano part. Two years ago, the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra invited me over to do a retrospective of my concert pieces. We didn't have a pianist to do this piece in Scotland, um, but I thought, hey, John. Why don't we do Oswald's first uh, violin concerto by Tchaikovsky, and you can be the featured soloist. Tchaikovsky is not one of his favorite composers. He would want it to be something completely other than that. But I always like the opposition of the soloist's own tastes. And there's this amazing thing that happened at rehearsal. So the orchestra plays the thing straight, everything stops, and here's the featured violinist, and he goes <coughs> on the violin. And I heard people in the bass section saying, uh-oh, this is going to be pretty pathetic. In performance, the piece starts, it gets to his spot after just a few bars, and he's nowhere to be seen. He was off stage. So he came on kind of playing, working his way up to the stage, and he had all sorts of other things, like new tricks to throw into the mix. And because it wasn't all the notes that everybody had heard in this piece that they'd played a million times, it was a new experience of this concerto. <laughs>
last movement of Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto, as you've never heard it before. A staggering performance from the improvising soloist in John Oswald's Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, played by John Rose, with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Ilan Volkov.